Today we are going to go over the coloring step for our Ramiro Brito's artwork. At this point you should have your abstract landscape outlined with thick lines and then ultra fine lines where our patterns are. Today we're going to begin the coloring step. We are going to begin, we're going to be using a technique called crayon resist where we color with crayon and then we paint on top. So today you are going to work with crayons and we are only going to color in our patterns using crayon, not our backgrounds. We are going to leave those and we're going to paint those later. So for our background colors, you can choose any colors you want. I highly suggest choosing a color palette. A color palette is about four or five colors that you repeat throughout your design. Here I have about seven colors. So I'm just going to pick a couple colors that I think I would like to use for my project and I'm going to stick to, mm, let's change these out. Let's go with I like this lime green. Let's go with these five colors. I'm going to stick to five colors, okay? And I'm going to use these. I'm going to keep repeating them throughout my project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start coloring in the patterns. What you want to do when you color in the patterns is you want to make sure that you have nice, good craftsmanship. You are coloring in the circles or in your patterns, nice and neat. You also want to make sure that you're pressing down firmly with the crayons. With the technique crown resist, if our crayons are too light like this, when we go to do the painting step, it's not going to go over the crayon. The paint's going to cover right over the crayon and you're not going to be able to see all of your detailed crayon work. So you really want to take your time, okay, and you want to color in all of your patterns. I would highly recommend sticking to one color per pattern. So here I am using blue green for my polka dot. So I'm going to color all of these polka dots in this whole section blue green. Then maybe I'm going to go to this section and I'm going to use red violet for my hearts. I want to make sure that I'm coloring nice and neat and dark. For the, so all of my hearts in this section would be red violet. Now let's skip ahead and say I have stripes over here. What do I do with the stripes? Because some of them are colored, uh, I have to color and paint. So what I would do is I would do every other stripe. So I'm going to just put a little dot here and I'm going to color these. These stripes I'm going to end up painting. So you don't want to color in this whole section. You want to make sure that you color in a pattern with the crayons. Okay? Now you notice that Mrs. Four kind of messed up a little bit over here. All right, that is okay. With crayons, you can actually use your fingernail and kind of scrape off a little bit to make it a little lighter, and then you can fix it up. So here I'm coloring dark, coloring with really good craftsmanship, and I have a pattern. The same with the flowers, okay? I could color in this part, and then maybe I want to color in the actual flower part. The background, I am leaving blank, empty, because I'm going to use paint, all right? So over here, and then I have this. The same with right here. I have squiggly lines, so what I can do is I can dot out every other line and make sure that I color in these sections and leave these white. So what we're going to do is today we're going to continue coloring. I want you to color in all of your patterns, all of your patterns using crayon. Good craftsmanship and make sure that you leave sections white so that we can paint.